This is Carl at National RV Detroit, and I'm going to walk you through this um, 2016 AR1 StarCraft model 21FB. I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work, okay? So we'll start here at the door side rear. Uh, you have, in case you want to hook up a grill, you've got a quick connect for the LP fitting right there to connect to the LP system. Of course, you have regular standard uh, stabilizer, uh, scissor type stabilizer jacks. You've got a power awning with a LED, dual axles, um, outside speakers plus porch light of course. This is power out here. This is the vent for your range hood. So if you're going to be running the fan in the range hood to vent to the outside, you always want to push up on these buttons here so the the uh, baffle flaps freely when you're venting, otherwise you can just keep it shut. But you want to remember to open it up if you're venting to the outside. Okay, um, this is just a, a hookup in case you're, uh, uh, you wanted to purchase a solar panel that would uh, charge the battery. Uh, this is a ZAMP power, a ZAMP product, and uh, you would plug it in right there. You have a toy lock. You need to get a, a, a padlock for it if you want to tie off some of your stuff. You got two 30 pound LP tanks that are full. You've got a um, power tongue jack to extend and retract, and then of course it has a light on it. Now, if this ever fails, you can pull this plug out of the top here and use the same three quarter inch crank or a, a drill with a socket on it for that matter, and you can actually operate this manually in case it fails so you can always get unhitched and hitched no matter what. Uh, you have a deep cycle marine battery here. Uh, you, your spare tire is I think you have a spare tire. Yeah, right here you got a spare tire and your crank. Okay. Um, city water connection which is right here. The most common way to get water to the trailer is the city water connection. Uh, now if you're camping someplace uh, um, kind of boondocking or, or, out, or out away from uh, uh, everybody else and there's no running water you can always pre-fill your fresh water tank right here and then use the onboard pump to pump the water so you can still uh, every, all the plumbing will still work as though you have city water but you'd be pumping it out of the tank okay uh, your dump valves are down here of course uh, that's just a uh, outside shower slash sprayer. This is your water heater right here. Works on, uh, um, let's see here. Oh, here it is, right here. The, this is drained right now, so you have a drain plug right there. Right now it's empty. The switch is operated our inside. Never, make sure you fill the tank before you turn it on in the springtime, because it's, it's winterized right now and it's empty. So always make sure that you fill the tank. Uh, before you use it. Um, you have a, a retractable power cord which is a 30 amp cord and that's cable and satellite through right there. Um, as we look up keep in mind that you should always inspect your roof every 90 days or so so make sure you go up there or have somebody go up there and look around uh, a few times a summer make sure everything's good and tight up there no leaking, no separation, no damage to roofing attachments by low branches, nothing like that, okay? If you see it, get it taken care of. All right. So, let me get some light here. This is your power awning switch here. Um, you just uh, extend and retract it. Okay. Never leave it out unattended. If you're not going to be at the campsite, roll it in. You have a microwave, which works like any other microwave. You have um, uh, the range hood I told you about. Remember I told you about the baffle on the vent outside? If you're, if you're gonna run the fan, make sure you open that baffle so it flaps freely. And then you have a light, of course. You have a, um, here, let me close this door. It's getting kind of chilly here. Okay, so, um, where was it? Oh, yeah, so you basically this is the sparker. 
you turn this clockwise to spark it. You got three knobs here, three burners. The fourth one, the one on the right, is for this oven here, which looks like it's never been used once, which is pretty typical. We see that a lot. Um, but basically, you're going to... Let me see if I have gases on here. In fact, let me walk out there. See if it's on. So I know... Fight me. Okay. Okay, so they're off. Okay, now we're in business. So Go inside here now. When you, when you, um, because it was it, the tanks were shut off, it might have some air in the line. So we'll have to. Oh no, it's 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 right there. So it's that simple. You just turn it to light and then spark it by turning this clockwise, and you're all set. The oven's a little different. You have to use a grill lighter, and um, basically at the back there, there's a pilot light at the bottom all the way to the back. So you use a grill lighter with a long neck. You come to the knob here and you go to to pilot push and hold, push it in and hold it while you light it. Then you would light the, um, the pilot light. Once it lights, you still hold this for another 10 seconds or so to heat up the thermocouple. Then you go to operating temperature. Uh, anytime you shut the oven off, though, the pilot light goes out, so you have to relight it each time you use the oven. Okay. Keys are right here on the sink. Um, this is a LP detector here. It should always be green. You have, uh, let's, let me look around here, see what we've got. And this is, this is just a smoke detector here. Okay. Okay. Um, this is your thermostat. Uh, you basically, you're going to click this to the right, this little lever here to the right to shut it off. Click it to the left to turn it on. The temperature selection is under here. Okay. The bathroom. Find the, oh, I guess the switch is up here. So, the sink and shower work like any other sink and shower. You have a power vent with three speeds. Um, this uh, toilet has to, the black tank is directly below, right? So, you have to have um, uh, chemical and water in it before you use it. So, when you get to the campground, you hook up your power and your water, you go in there, you'll dump one dose of chemical in the bowl. Then you pull the flush lever forward and let about a gallon of water go into the tank. So you use one dose of chemical and one gallon of water before you start using it. You can't use it dry. If you do, the smell will be terrible, plus it can get clogged up, so you don't want that to happen. Um, so remember, always, always do that. Now, this, this fan here, by the way, you can also use it if it's the time of year when you've got a bunch of people over and you're starting to get condensation from your breath, if it's that time of year, you can turn that on. Uh, low with that fan, it'll pull it all the condensation right out if you need to. All right, so your your refrigerator is a gas absorption refrigerator with a freezer right here. This one's more cold. So right now it's on auto. If you can see that, there's off auto, and then to the right is gas. Um, auto means electric. It means that uh, it'll always seek out 110 AC and use it if it's available. If it can't find it, it'll automatically switch to gas. Or better yet, or better illustration is if you, you leave early in the morning to go out exploring for the day and it's going to be a hot day, a few hours after you leave, the power at the campground goes off, right? So it would sense that and after the power went off, it would automatically switch over to gas so you don't spoil your food. So generally speaking, you're going to have it on auto and the temperature up all the way. Alrighty, this jackknife's flat here, turn it into a bed. You can also drop this table down onto the cleats, the tabletop. Uh, you have a radio here, all right, and a, a hookup and a mount for your TV if you wanted to put it on a bracket there. This is the escape window. You just undo these clamps and you can escape, or these latches, I mean, you can escape out that window. All right, the air conditioner has two knobs. Um, 
this one here is thermostat. You want it to be wide blue. That's that's as uh, as cool as it gets. And then you have four speeds: two fan speeds, and then two air conditioning speeds. So uh, the fan speeds just circulate air. The air conditioner uh, speeds use the compressor and actually air condition it. So, all right. Okay, this is your stuff here, your packet. So I think that covers it. Let me make sure I didn't forget anything. Let me look around here a bit. I think we've got it. Oh, one more thing. There we go. So this, this device right here is your power converter. What this does, it converts AC to DC power. So when you're plugged into shore power, it has circuit breakers right here, just like you'd um, see at home. They're 110 AC, right? And they're labeled. Then over here, you, it's con the power is converted to 12 volt DC. So you got 12 volt fuses here, and they're labeled. Um, so that's where you get the DC power from. This is also a battery tender, so it's going to sense how, as long as you're plugged in, it's going to sense how much energy your battery has and needs up there, and it'll send a, send power up accordingly. If it's if it's topped off, it'll just trickle a couple amps up there. If it's low, it'll send 10 amps or whatever it needs. So it'll keep your battery charged. Now, when you're pulling this down the road, the alternator will send a send power through the charge line to your battery and charge your battery when you're going down the road so keep that in mind okay all right so that's it then so first of all i want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at national rv detroit second of all remember what i said about every every 90 days looking at your roof make sure it's good and tight no crack or separation nowhere for water to get in so on and so forth and right now this is trailer is winterized so all the water has been purged from the system and has been replaced with antifreeze the water heater is bypassed and it's empty so uh, um, that's that one last thing <laughs> here we go I got a one last thing going here where did I just see it oh my goodness oh here it is right here I'm sorry this is your this is where you light your water heater right here and this is where you turn your water pump on and then these are the levels that's battery fresh water it, it graduates up in one third increment so okay I almost forgot that but so you have your your water heater to light it on gas your water pump and then your tank levels right here okay thank you very much